So yeah, I'm going to show you my Beverly Cleary collection. Uh, I have most of the books, but I don't have all of her books. Uh, what you're seeing is my Whippy Kick collection. And my Beverly Cleary collection is actually on the first shelf of my a bookshelf. Well, on my bookshelf, so... Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I'm going to take out the book, books from that shelf, and I'll show you those. Okay, so let's get started. First, first up is Beezus and Ramona. This came out in 1955. There's a slide. There's the back. What's Ramona up to? Prescription. Here's all the yearbooks you can get. Yeah, this book is good, really good. I I highly recommend it. Oh, and here's the list of books that you can also get. Uh, this is but this has features older versions of the books. Books. And by the way, this is from the Ramona Quimby series. And before these books were published, is is Henry Huggins was was actually Beverly Cleary's first novel. Oh, oh. And that one came out in 1950. So, so when Beezus and Ramona came out, oh, t oh t it was actually five years after Henry Huggins came out. So, it, so this book series is kind of like a spin-off series. Anyways. Next is Ramona the Pest came out in in nineteen sixty eight. Side back. This book is okay. It's not better than the first one, but I still think it's pretty good. That's Ramona the Pest. And then in... Then in 1975, we had Ramona the Brave. Next is Ramona and her father. When did this come out again? 1975. I have, was when this originally came out. But, but I think it was also released in... Let me check. Uh, 1977, so, yeah. Uh, I think... I think this is a new art book. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is a new Brianna book. Look. Next is Ramona and her mother. This one came out in... 1979. Uh, hang on a sec, I gotta check something. So I had to check something. Oh, that's... Oh, sorry, I mean, it's just that my phone wasn't on the tripod fully. It wasn't fully on the tripod, so, yeah. Anyways, uh... In 1981, we had Ramona Quimby, age 8, also a new Rihanna book.
Next is then in 1984 we had Ramona Forever. And this one has nice illustrations by Illustrator Gil e. Rogers. Here's right here. I really enjoyed the, I really enjoyed this, those illustrations. Then finally for the and last for the Ramona Quimby series is Ramona's World. This came out in 1999. This book is also really good as well. So, uh, yeah, that's the Romo Quimby series. Now I'm going to show you the Henry Huggins series, it's, it's, which is basically the origin to what came to the Romo Quimby series. First, we got Henry Huggins. This is the original book. I know you already seen it, but but I decided to show it again. This book is definitely my favorite. It out of the, I think six. No, seven books. There were seven books in the Henry Huggins series. Next is Henry and Beezus. Oh, uh, the first book came out in 1950, which I already said. This Henry and Beezus came out in 1952. This one's also my favorite as well. And then in 1954, we had Henry and Rigsby. And then in 1957, we had Henry in the Paper Route. This one, did, uh, I got this separately because as I got, because I got a box set containing most of Beverly Cleary's famous books, but uh, but most of them were missing. In fact, uh, in fact, Ramona Forever was included in the box set for some reason, but uh, and so that's why I had to get it separately, it, as well as Henry the Paper Route. I also had to get it separately. Uh, now the only he book that I'm missing from that particular series is is. Henry in the Clubhouse. Uh, so far, I haven't found it on it yet, but hopefully, I'll. But hopefully, I'll I'll find it for a cheap price. Anyways, last last stuff for the Henry Huggins series is Ripsby. So basically, he got. So basically, Henry's dog is got his very own book, just like Ramona did, except that it's just the one full book. It's not like a full series. So yeah, that's Ripsby. And that's it for the Henry Huggins series. Now I'm going to show you the Ralph S. Mouse series. First is the Mouse and the Motorcycle. This one's pers This one is my personal favorite out of the three books. Yes, it includes extras in this edition.
And then in 1970, we had Runaway Ralph. And finally, in 19, and finally for this series, in 1982, we had Ralph's Mouse. And yeah, that's it for the Ralph's Mouse series. Notice that, that this series was pretty short because as the Ramona Quimby series had had nine books, the Henry Huggins series had seven, Evan, and this one only contained three books, so it's, so that was kind of a short series. I wish they m made more books featuring Ralph S. Mouse, that would have been awesome, but, but he never did, so, oh, but he never did, so, anyways, finally, I have one extra book, which is Socks, which came out in 1973, the, the, this was an extra book that was included in that box set. I never... I never read this book, so I don't know if it's any good. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the Beverly Cleary he, he, he collection. Here's all the book. Here's all the books if you missed it. Now, the only book that I am missing is... Uh, is Henry in the Clubhouse. I still haven't found that book for a. Uh, I still haven't found that book, but hopefully I'll find it some point at some point. But uh, yeah, that's about it. it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. What's your favorite Beverly Cleary book? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. For me, my favorite. It is probably Beezus and Ramona from the Royal Quimby series, the original oh, Henry Huggins book, the the original Henry Huggins, and the Mouse and the Motorcycle from the Ralph S. Mouse series. But I want to hear your opinion. So, yeah, uh, let me know who, in the comments, comments on what's your favorite book from Beverly Cleary. So, yeah, that's it. So, so, yeah, that's about it. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.